Metal studs? No studs? I'm gonna show you how to get from this to this. Go ahead and start by taking all the parts out of the box so that you can get to the mounting bracket. From there, you wanna take that mounting bracket, place it on the wall and check it for height. And if you're mounting to studs, your stud location. This is my favorite stud finder. There's a link to it down in the description below, but it locates both wood and metal studs inside your wall. After verifying that your electricity is off, go ahead and remove that cover from the outlet. From there, you wanna take the two screws loose and pull the outlet out so that you can get to the wires behind it. Because I'm partly crazy, I didn't turn the electricity off first. And there we go. Make sure you turn yours off first. So now I'm gonna take my reciprocating saw and go ahead and cut the two screws that hold the electrical box to the stud loose so that I can remove the box from the stud. And now I'm gonna take my tiny Klein screwdriver and stick it in the little slots to pull the wires out from the receptacle. Now that I've completely removed the wires from the receptacle, I can go ahead and take off that green wire nut on the ground wire and fish the wires out of the existing electrical box, letting it fall to the ground inside the wall because we don't need it anymore. And next I want you to take that old work box, put it up against the wall and draw the dimensions around it because you'll probably have to cut the wall out a smidge more just to make it fit where the box went that we just cut off. Make sure you're careful doing this because we don't want to nick the existing wires. I'm going to put in a double gang hole here with one side having the electricity in it and the other side running the HDMI and coaxial cables out of it. In order to do that, I need to take my template out and draw out the dimensions of the hole that I need to cut. From there, I need to take my saw and cut the square hole out. Now, please note that before this, I've already checked to make sure that there's no stud back there where I'm cutting the hole and there's no wires back behind the hole that I'm I'm cutting. It's important to note that for this project, the actual electricity is not just below this hole, but it's one stud over. And for that, I'm gonna take this Klein step drill bit and drill a hole through my metal stud in the wall. As you can see, my favorite drill doesn't fit. So I've gone to get the smaller drill so that I can punch this hole through. We don't wanna run even insulated wire through bare metal. So it's important to get the right size bushing to snap into that hole that we just drilled. You can actually skip this step if your TV is gonna be located just above an existing electrical outlet in the same cavity. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and take that 12-2 Romex and run it through that bushing that I just placed in the stud and fish it out of the hole on the other side. From there, I'm gonna take that wire, strip it down, insulate it, run it through my new workbox, install the new workbox, place the existing wires back into the outlet where they were, and then run the new Romex to the screws on the outside of the outlet. I'm effectively tapping into an existing circuit here. I've created another video on how to do that here. The black wire goes to the gold terminal and the white wire goes to the silver terminal. The new ground wire was twisted into the existing group of ground wires and the green nut was put back on. Now push the outlet back into the box and put the cover back on. Now we're done tapping into the existing outlet. Let's start by stripping the ends of the Romex so that we can place the Romex into the new work box that we're about to install. I'm stripping off about four to five inches of the insulation and then I'm going to pull the coax and RG6 that I've previously run into the wall out of the hole. Next up you'll want to feed those wires into the existing work box and pull them all the way through. Mount your electrical box on the right side of the double gang hole, strip the ends, and curve the wire so that you can put them around the outlet screw posts. Once again, the neutral goes to the silver screw, so the white wire goes to the silver, the black or the hot wire goes to the gold colored screw, and don't forget about your ground, which you see up there at the top that I've already tightened. Next, we're gonna mount the box inside the wall. And now that we're done with all of our wiring and we've got the box soft mounted in the wall, we're gonna go ahead and pop the electricity back on and tighten those screws screws back down after testing it. There's a link to this Sperry tester in the description below. These are the best type of in-wall anchors that you can use. They're called toggler bolts and they can work with metal studs or without studs at all. There's a link in the description below if you want to pick some up yourself. Next we're going to go ahead and drill quarter
quarter inch holes into the sheetrock and through the metal studs that are inside the wall. Again, you don't have to install these toggler bolts into studs. You can install them just behind the sheetrock themselves. They do hold 265 pounds per bolt, but I don't recommend it. After you slide the channel in the wall flush to the back of the wall, you'll want to slide the cap down the plastic straps until it rests securely against the wall. Then you'll take those plastic straps and break them off so that you may place the mounting bracket on top of them. You'll take your bolts from that point and go ahead and manually start them threading into the screw holes. And then later you can use a tool to tighten those on down. So after this, you wanna go ahead and make sure that you've secured the mounting brackets to the back of the television that you're trying to hang. From there, you wanna take the TV and place it onto the wall mounted bracket that we have hanging there. After that, you'll take those wires that you have outside and go ahead and tuck those behind and hide them. So guys, we do a lot of these type of how I did it videos on this channel. If you like this kind of content and you wanna see more, please like and subscribe. Hey, do you have some comments? Do you have some questions? Anything, throw those down in the comment section below Below, I'll be happy to answer them for you. If you like this kind of content, please smash that like button and subscribe. Check out some of the other videos that we have posted here too. I'll see you on the next one and thanks for watching.